Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna. Before we get into today's video, please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family. Very excited about today's video because it is something a little different. I'm going to be telling you about the five places that you miss or you do not think about when you are cleaning. Also, I am very excited about today's video because it is in collaboration with another mom here on YouTube. Her name is Brienne. She is a mom to two toddlers, a three-year-old and a one-year-old, both girls. She lives just outside of Toronto, Canada, and you guys will love her. She does a lot of lifestyle videos, which are cleaning, homemaking motivation, and she also has a huge organization and home DIY series dropping really soon. I'm really excited for that. I think y'all are going to love that. She also posts twice a week, which is awesome. So please make sure to check out her channel, y'all. I think you guys are going to love her and her content. Be sure to tell Brienne that I sent you guys over there. And let's go ahead and dive into this video. As you see, I am already into cleaning the five places you miss while you're cleaning. So this place is pretty obvious. It is dusting your photos, okay? So when we moved into this house, they already had these shelves there, which I absolutely love. I think they call them floating shelves, right? I think that's right. So what I decided I was dusting those photos, I was like, this is not working. These shelves are disgusting. These photos are terrible. So I decided to bring them all on the table so they can be thoroughly cleaned and cleaned a little bit better and so I can clean the shelves. So part of one of the places you are missing while cleaning is your photos and your anything that you have hanging up like your decorations. You guys are going to see that I'm cleaning my clock. Anything that is hanging on your wall is going to be part of number one. That includes your photos and your shelves. Part of number two that y'all are going to see is going to be cleaning the TV. You are going to see my husband cleaning the TV because he does not want me to touch the TVs. He just has a thing about it. He wants them to be done a certain way. So y'all are going to see him cleaning the TV because those are like his babies, okay? <laughs> I have to laugh because he's going to watch this and be like, seriously, no, they're not. I just like to give him a hard time. Come running back 
second place that you are missing while you are cleaning, as you are seeing here, is dusting your ceiling fans and any of your light fixtures really. But my husband and I, we are so bad and always forget to dust our ceiling fans. So number two is make sure you're cleaning your ceiling fans because as you see there, ours are disgusting. And I had my husband do these because he's 6'3 and he's tall enough and actually Fun fact, I'm highly allergic to dust. I'm not just saying that so then I don't have to dust. I actually had allergy testing done when I was a child because my allergies were all over the place. So I am highly allergic to dust and to a tree called dogwood, which is around here in Ohio. And I hate that tree. If that tree is anywhere in sight, I am a hot mess. This is not my home. I will Alright, time for the third place or thing that you miss while you are cleaning and that is the doors. I'm not talking about the glass on the doors, but just the doors itself. So as I'm cleaning the doors, I'm also cleaning like the handles and the doorknobs and the locks as well. That's all one part really. I don't know why I had to say all three of those separately. But I'm talking about cleaning all of the doors. And as you see, I'm cleaning the glass here because why not? I'm already cleaning the door. But I decided to clean almost every door in my house. And yeah, they were disgusting. I did not realize how dusty and dirty they were. And it's a high traffic area, so it's actually really best that you clean them. Especially, you know, with flu season coming. And then what's going on also in the world. So... Make sure you do not miss your doors and door handles while you are cleaning. I will tear you down, pin you to the ground. I will tear you Okay, I have to pop back on here because I'm cleaning Savannah's door and she just woke up from her nap and I knew she was awake. And so then as I'm cleaning her brother's door, she will open the door and peek out at me like, what are you doing, mom? Like, can I come out? And she ended up coming out and going potty. So don't worry. That's the only reason why she was in there. She had woke up from her nap time. It's not forever. It's not forever. Oh, 
Okay, time for the fourth place you sometimes can miss while cleaning, which is your light switches. Recently, I have gotten really, really good with cleaning my light switches because I don't know. I've just really thought about it, and that is just so gross. Just think about how many times a day you touch your light switches, and also, I cannot believe how many light switches we have in our house. By the way, this is not all of the light switches either, but I just had to show you almost all of them. It was just crazy. I cannot believe how many we have, but definitely wipe down your light switches, and I'm doing this with a Clorox wipe. Okay, the fifth and final place you miss while cleaning is your trim. I cannot tell you how many times I have overlooked the trim in my house while cleaning. And let me tell you, I'm really bad at this too. I try to clean it at least once a month, if that, honestly. But I couldn't believe how dirty it was. So definitely do not forget about the trim in your home. Also, maybe it's just me, but it really drives me nuts seeing my white trim and brown trim. When we moved into this home, they had part way started to, I guess, modernize it and do all the white trim. So that's why there's half white trim and half brown trim throughout the home. Y'all, here is a bonus place that you miss while cleaning. If you have stairs in your home and you have a second story, do not forget about the stairwell and the rods right there, okay? Do not forget about this. I have forgotten about this so many times, and I'm trying to be better at this and clean this maybe about once a month as well, but it does. It gets so dirty, you guys, especially if you have dogs. There's dog hair that just gets trapped in there, so do not forget about the little rods on the top of your stairs but that is going to be it for this video I hope y'all enjoyed these six places you miss while cleaning please make sure to go to Brianne's channel and watch her video as soon as y'all are done and also please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family thank you all so much and I'll see y'all next one bye